All right. So this is the second band workout. Again, just five minutes, five exercises, one minute a piece. This one focuses on the hips and the legs. And you're going to start off just stepping sideways. Set the body up, the weight of the body stacked over the ankles and just go wide, nice and slowly. Step in, nice and slowly. Step out, shift weight, step in. Maintain the activation of the core, closing the distance between the ribs and the belt the whole time. Step out and step in, step out. Step in, even if you have minimal space, still do it. You're just gonna go backwards. Well, not backwards and forwards, but side to side. And try to slow it down. The more time you spend with one foot in the air, controlling that band, stronger your legs are gonna be, healthier your hips are gonna be. And then move on to the next one. Same idea, just facing forwards and backwards this time. Take your hands and reach them forwards with interlocked fingers. And then with a wide step, one foot at a time, keep the arms straight, keep the, keep the core engaged. It's nice and slow, nice and slow. Step wide, step wide, step wide and then reverse direction. Do the same thing. Step wide, step wide. Your feet should be hips width or more apart the whole time. And this is very important for both of those that I just mentioned. You wanna have your feet at least parallel, maybe slightly turned in. If they're out like this, it's a whole different muscle activation and it's not gonna give you the benefit that you're looking for in terms of strengthening typically commonly weak muscles in the hips. So those are the first two exercises. The third one is you're gonna get down, get down, get down. For the next two, take the band, reposition it right above your knees. Feet hips width apart, close enough that you can touch them with your fingers. And we're gonna do banded bridge, come up, press the balls of the feet into the floor, relax and go again. Balls of the feet into the floor and go again. And maintain that tension into the band, going wide or hips width with the knees as you press the hips up. Again, one minute. This is just all the same cues for a regular bridge are in play. Elbows pressing into the floor, chest reaching over your head at the same time that the hips extend. You just have this added action of the band. For the fourth exercise, after you get that one, third one for a minute, you're gonna take the feet and press them together so the soles of the feet are touching. And then you're gonna go wide come in, wide, come in, frog pump, reach the knees apart, relax them back in, reach the knees apart, relax them back in and pay attention here. There's a tendency to let the low back peel off the floor a lot to kind of cheat the external rotation of the hips by anteriorly tucking the, tilting the pelvis. Don't let that happen. Keep your belly button heavy and then just work with whatever you have in terms of range of motion in the knees. Knees moving apart, that is. Nice, that was a good one. Okay, so last up, you can make your way up with the band exactly where it is. And we're just gonna get squats. Pressing into the Band as you do your squats. One minute. Press out, stand up, press out, stand up. And as the knees go, as the knees fight for that space, 
for your hips to slide down. You're also driving the knees right over your toes, just like in every single squat you do. That's it. Five exercises, one minute piece, five glorious minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> 